Gonna do another walkthrough. Another uh, week we're gonna put behind us with, uh, we'll have a couple advertised on eBay, which I'm very thankful for all of you that follow me there. Please click and follow me if you don't already, and you'll be the first to see the units that I've got available to sell. These last four units here, obviously to all of us Puritans, it's hard for us to see. <laughs> But to those that are a little younger than us, this is the up and coming bike. Uh, I sold three, I sold four resto mods that we had in here from last week. All four restored, modified, sold. And they sold good. They sold good. So that's what uh, is selling well. There's a survivor there, survivor here. Uh, this bike sold to a gentleman in Texas. This bike sold to a gentleman in Jacksonville. This one is, that's a, uh, uh, restored bike, uh, but it's an old restoration, probably six, seven years old on that restoration. This is brand new. This is a level three restoration here. Uh, very, very well done. Very clean. And as you can see, the paint is, is on point. That candy emerald with uh, using the gold base instead of the silver base gives it a lot more pop. Uh, this silver tag sold to a gentleman, a nice collector. It's bought several bikes from me that's out in California. Here's two level one restorations. Uh, this is one that's for sale, uh, still for sale at this point. This one sold for 7,300 on eBay last week. I said actually 7,400 on eBay last week. Uh, the buyer's gonna buy a couple more units and then he's coming in. Uh, here is a survivor, uh, Topaz, Candy Topaz Orange. And if you look next to it, this is a level three, really, really nice uh, restoration here. So you can see when you look close here, it is just brand new. Lots of OEM parts here uh, and obviously OEM parts here on this. Uh, this is a survivor bike. It is unrestored barn find. Got a little bark on it, uh, as I like to say. Uh, very few places there. Really, really clean unit. Uh, we put an exhaust on this bike. We put a front and rear fender. Uh, they had lots of damage. Both of them had some dents in them. Uh, that's a fresh cover on that bike as well. Uh, it is a really, really nice unrestored. This is the H model, which is a manual clutch four speed. So it's a 1970 that would call, be called an HKO. K0 was the first iteration of this bike. And there's your restored bike. Same thing here. We've got a we've got an original unrestored bike here. One of the best blue green bikes I've ever ever seen as unrestored. Again, got a few pieces on it uh, that uh, that freshened it up a little bit. We cleaned up the carriage. Put front and rear fenders are uh, aftermarket. Uh, really really nice looking on this bike. Uh, they look fantastic. Um, my estimations that doesn't hurt that bike at all. You might see that I'm. I'm pretty much replacing the carburetor on all of these. We use the high-end Japanese carburetor. I like that carburetor a lot. We can actually buy uh, factory originals for less money. I've got all the factory originals. When you buy a bike from me, you get the factory original with the bike and the new carburetor. We want these to run. We don't want the seeds to get stuck like they always do unless you vapor hone. The old carburetor, that's what you're gonna get. Another barn find. You got a barn find here and here. Both these bikes are uh, just original paint, uh, really well cared for bikes. That is the original exhaust on this bike, uh, hard to find. Um, and uh, and just, uh, again, this is an H as well. We've got HKOs here. These are 1970s. Uh, so K0 uh, build iteration. And here is the restored version, which is beautiful. Just, just absolutely beautiful. Candy blue green. Well, you talk about a, a color that's really strong right now. This candy gold has just been amazing. I'm sure many of you saw on Bring a Trailer the pair that brought 27.7 a few weeks ago. Uh, this is the original uh, unrestored Survivor bike. Really, really nice. Uh, excellent condition uh, for a Survivor like that. You know, when you look at the original hand controls on these older bikes you know they've got 
a little slick on them from being used all those years. They're actually doing a really nice job on some of the knockoff uh, uh, that uh, we're seeing lately. I do buy all original parts and re-chrome them, re-zinc plate uh, those that we can. If we can't find it, obviously we'll go in there and try to find something very, very close in the aftermarket. But there's an original nice candy gold bike, K0, and then here we are. Right next to it, we've got a level three, fully restored, drop dead gorgeous candy gold, and <laughs> some kind of pretty right there. Uh, you're going to love this. Really, really nice bike. Tracy Schooler, excellent, excellent CT70 icon, uh, one of my neighbors here in Indianapolis. He's uh, on the north side now. Great, great guy. I buy a lot of his trades, and uh, we do a lot of working together. He's an excellent guy. This is an original. Look at that seat. This is all original, all original. And we didn't detail it at all. We just, he got it on trade and brought it straight to me, and you're looking at it, and it's everyday clothes. Unmolested. Wonderful, wonderful bike. And then look at this. This is restored. And I'm going to say Julie, Julian did an amazing job. Amazing job on this bike. Just, just look at that finish on this bike. It's, it's really amazing. He goes the extra mile. He went ahead and chrome plated the original wheels, <clears throat> put the original style bolts back on. This is a Honda bolts, nut and bolt, restored bike, correct nuts, correct bolts, correct hardware. Just, Julian, good job here. Just a wonderful, wonderful restoration there. So you got, you know, you've got uh, the way they were born and then born again, as I love to say, because I just love my relationship with Jesus Christ and uh, how all things are new. Unlike these motorcycles that are gonna perish, I never will. I'm thankful for that. And then we've got this nice lineup. This is a 1969 ST70 Dax. This is the original, original concept. This this bike was, uh, this is a Euro, uh, European bike. And uh, love that low. This They had two versions of this. They had a trail version and they had a street version. This is a street version. People don't know that, but this is the street version. Street version had a, had a low exhaust instead of a high exhaust. Nice resto mod, gentlemen, in Wisconsin. We bought that from, and just, it sounds as good as it looks. I like this. He made a Dax front end on this thing. It looks like a CT70. It's a restored modified, a resto mod. Um, and it's kind of like a Dax, because he lowered that front fender, just like they did on the original Dax. Really, really nice K1, K2, K3, uh, Z50s here. Uh, full, full restored, accurate, uh, Candy uh, apple crate up there at the top and five speed. And these uh, 69 model, I got a 68 in there, silver tag. Um, we bought that for a client and this, uh, this bike, we actually had to uh, drill a hole because he wanted to put the hot rod motor on it. And uh, he bought, was able to perform on three of them and didn't get us fully paid on that one. He really needed the money back because I ran into a crisis. And so I sent him his deposit back. But we got a nice uh, selection here of K1 and K0, K2 and K3 Z50s. Look at this red bike and this green bike. I mean, what a great idea right here. This green is gorgeous. Powder coated, uh, red is the same way, and uh, it's as beautiful as it looks. But there you go. That's what we're gonna be offering up this week. A nice, nice 68 runabout up there too one of the probably the one, one of the most accurate bikes in the united states i got a big write-up on this uh bike it's 100 percent original that's what we got good luck this week god bless all of you